cat amulet? What does this even do? Ah! Ah! This is a snake! Oh. Oh, that's my pet. Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So yes, I found this in Mr. 37's lair, and apparently he made his own pet amulet, and got his own snake, Laranja, as you saw, and I just had a great idea. I thought maybe Laranja could be the bartender for my new fruit juice bar that I'm building in Manplatten. So, okay, here's Manplatten. Kinda got lost there. So, I'm just gonna go over to my juice bar, and yeah, then put her behind the counter. Also, um... The winner of the juice contest, which juice I should have for my juice bar, is... Strawberry juice! I'm gonna have other juices too, they're just strawberry's gonna be the main one. Basically the store's speciality, it's gonna be like the special drink. The... Bars, specials, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, she's suffocating if I do that, so... Maybe I'll put her up here. And then knock her in. No, wait. Let's try that again. Knock her... Wait, let me just dig my way out for... Okay, come on, Laranja. Get in there. I'm breaking my store. Get in. Uh, okay, you can just stay wherever you want, I guess. <laughs> and I thought it'd be cool if she could speak Portuguese, because her name is actually Portuguese, so if you want anything, to order anything, you have to speak Portuguese to Laranja, which, in case you don't know, is Portuguese for orange. So I've already made a lot of drinks here. Eh, like a ton. <laughs> oh, she just closed it, it almost looked like. Oh, oh, I picked her up. Cool. And I'm gonna... Okay. So, yep, there you are. And I made some strawberry juice here. I thought strawberry juice would be the brightest, but the weirdest thing is the brightest red juice is cactus fruit juice. I thought that was kind of weird. And I made some regular strawberry juice here. And I'm gonna drink this all up. Because this is not what we want. This is just regular old strawberry juice. We're going to make super strawberry juice with the strawberry juice making machine. But I'm going to do that off camera since it's pretty complicated. I've already kind of started on it just right here. It's going to dispense the strawberry juice th through the stream of water. But that's not what I'm going to do in this episode. In this episode, I'm going to build the upstairs, and that's like where Laranja is going to live. So I'm going to make a crafting table, then craft a bed. Then I can make a bed for her, which I'm going to borrow, and I'm going to sleep in that. So... Uh... One... And then some... In case you're wondering why I have so much lime wool and green wool, it's because I'm making a new entrance to Tibwig, my tall building with games. And that entrance is going to be... A water slide. And a roller coaster, all in one. It's going to be mantis themed, hence this, all of this. So yeah, that's why I have so much green wool, cause mantises are generally green, I guess. So I'm gonna make some couches. No, actually, maybe I shouldn't use the birch. Uh, or maybe maybe it's okay, cause this isn't very important. Just her room. Besides, I'm not even allowed in here. It's only... Only she's allowed. Her private quarters. Her private house. I'm just gonna put a bunch of chairs here. Besides, she's gonna be a little too busy to even go in here that much anyway. Oops, I turned this on to... Dang, I'm so stupid. Uh, so I'm gonna make some sticks. Yeah, I can use the snowballs later. Don't need them right now. Turn these all into signs, and make this standard couch design, like this. Actually, I could have made some actual green couches by doing... Okay, maybe I'll get rid of this. 
Yeah. Okay, this is like a total waste of stuff. I didn't need this. Uh, no, you don't use lime. We'll use green wool. So, maybe I'll make a tour. Or maybe just two of them. Like, separately. Maybe one here and one here. And I can get rid of that. Okay. So now, let's go and build the roller coaster. And don't worry about her. She's just stuck in the ground. So, I'm going to take a few drinks with me. Maybe I'll take a strawberry smoothie. And, uh, a raspberry smoothie. Okay, there you are, Laranja. Oh, I have to pay for these. You use, I, I figure you can use gold nuggets for the regular drinks and for the special strawberry juice. You use, um, diamonds. And besides, you have to serve me. I can't serve. So, yeah, my Portuguese isn't very good. I'll just say the name of the fruit. Ananas. That means pineapple. Uh, do we have pineapples in here? No, we do Whatever. I'll order them later. But for now, I have to go build the roller coaster. So, yeah, if I want to really order drinks, I'm going to have to learn Portuguese very well. As they would say in Portugal, Eu não falo português muito bem, which means I do not speak Portuguese very well, which is true. <laughs> uh, come on, get out. Why does Min Platinum have to have such difficult terrain? It's difficult. Okay, do I have a minecart anywhere here? Okay, maybe my shoes will be the minecart. I'm running on the track, and you probably ever shouldn't really do this in real life. And whoa! If didn't load in, so it was like so cool you could see the outside, see the underwater area. And it's a good thing I brought some grapes. Yum 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 yum. So I'm gonna build the roller coaster like directly over the um desert. Uh, okay, that was good to bad, I think, next to Tibwig. And also, I'm not gonna build it directly over Tibwig because. Tibwig stands for tall building with games. I need it to be tall, and it can't be tall if there's a giant roller coaster in the way. Okay, there's Mosey. Be careful. Or else he's gonna bite the snaz out of ya. So, are there any sneaky sh shortcuts I can take? Yes, there is. Can take one regarding this dude. Vortex. And I rebred him. This isn't the original Vortex, I just, yeah, rebred him. But, yeah, it's, their horses, they're almost the same. So, Nimbus, Stratus, hey y'all, Charon. I see your slime hasn't completely dripped off yet. And let's go over to Tibwig. And then get started on the roller coaster. So, to get up into the air, because it's going to be pretty high, it's going to be like a flying mantis. I'm going to use a tail to get up, so the tail will be touching the ground, but not the rest of the stuffs. Okay, so I just wait for him to descend or jump out. Maybe I'll wait here for him to descend, because if you you can like jump off and wait for them to descend, which is more convenient, but also more dangerous. And oh, I see a skeleton up there. I'll deal with it if I have to. But actually, this isn't a very convenient spot. Eh, I'll figure it out later. Eh, ow. Okay, get in the sky amulet, Mr. Vortex. Okay, there we go. So I need to build it somewhat over here, just so it doesn't get in the way of this, all of this stuff. So maybe I'm going to have it all starting uh, b b b here. So I'm just going to... Build up like this, I'm going to have these close to each other, so we can alternate. One, two, one, two. And this, all of this is going to be the tail. It's going to be a, at a complete 45 degree angle. I wonder why they have degrees like that, like diagonal is 45, straight is 90. Shouldn't be like straight be 100 and diagonal is 50 and... Uh, Complete circle is 400. I'm not sure what their reasons are for that. So, let me check this. Yep, it's straight. 
So we're just going to go up until... Maybe we use up like 32 of them. So now it's actually... No, maybe it's going to be 50 block size. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And mantises tend to have long tails. 15. And this roller coaster is going to be mantis themed. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. This is boring. You can just skip ahead until I'm done with the tail. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. Okay, halfway there, guys. We're already getting pretty high. 26. 27. Actually, let's make it 30. 28. I mean, 40, sorry. 8. 29. 30. 31. Uh, 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. So I'm going to put minecarts on this, and this is going to be the whole tail, 100% complete. So now, I'm going to make the main body, and look, you can see times cube from here. So maybe, I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten should be long enough, right? And I need twenty in total of these. Uh... So, one, two, I sh yeah, and I should get my shears out, just to make the process a lot faster. Okay, then, it's gonna go the same along here, and then maybe build up the walls of this thing. Mm. So, yeah, the same along here, and I'm trying to make it kind of like the way an ab abdomen of a mantis might look like. Sort of. I'm just gonna go in like this. And then I'm gonna go two in. And then that's gonna be like it. And then we build walls around that. Mantisy walls. So, like I said, two in. And yeah, that's it. So, two in. Van. Two, three, four. Okay, it's good. Now uh, I have to build this two up along here. Then we go up and build it three up, like right over here. I'll show you in a second once I'm done with this. And whoa, it looks totally cool. Around here, jumpy. Then like this along here. Then maybe I'll use the regular green for the area up here. This is what I meant by three up along here. Oh man, just shouldn't have to set. And maybe I'll get rid of all the green. The green is just so for me to pile around. It doesn't really matter because mobs can't get up here unless they walk all the way there and well, I'll totally be able to see them coming. So it's going to be relatively safe out here. Jump. If I miss the jump, I could die. Uh, should I bother making a bed or not? Maybe I'll make a bed if I actually want to go down. Which I might not. So, eh. Continue this. And are we almost done? Yep, we are. And, oh man, I don't have torches. Okay, that settles it. We're making a bed. Doesn't matter, we have a pretty much unlimited supply of wood here. Or at least a stack. Oh, I could have used my cherry wood for that furniture. Would have looked real cool. Maybe I'll fix it off camera. 
And I don't really need birch for that much because we already finished the um, the fruit juice bar exterior. So yeah. Time to sleep. Okay, please la don't land me out. Okay, good. I was worried that it would drop me like a billion stories down. Like some things have. Because in the bunny house, there's the world's deadliest couch that can like throw you into a ravine and kill you. Brought me down to half a heart. And I fell. Okay. So. This should be good. And, yep. Now, we are almost done once we finish this. Done with the exterior of this. And then, of course, we need to make the legs and the head. Because, have you ever seen a normal mantis without legs or a head? So, okay. Let's go down here. And, whoa, it's dark in here. You know what? I'm just going to craft some torches and come back when I have them. Okay, got torches. Could have used this when it was nighttime, but I guess the journey to my crafting table would be too dangerous anyway. So, yep, yeah, it's good. I got torches. I'll put it in here just to illuminate this place. And then I'm going to uh, make the legs. So, first, actually, I need to make the wings. And I do have a bit of glass, but not enough. And I also need the mine rails, so, yep, I'm going to cut this out yet again until I get those things. Okay, guys, I got all the stuff, many stacks of everything, and put them in a chest. So I'm going to take a bunch of this. And then, yes, once you get up here, I'm going to put the rails down. And once you get up here, you can um, go up the wings. I'm not sure if mantises actually have wings. It's been a long time since I've seen one. But uh, let's just now assume they do. Just for the sake of this roller coaster, I'm going to turn this all into sticks. And turn this all into redstone torches. Okay. Okay, so I'll light this up. And you don't need that um, frequent uh, powered rails. But it's good to have some of them anyway. So maybe another up here. Maybe one every... What? Five, maybe? Or is it four that you're supposed to do? I don't know. So I'll have this extending up here. Or maybe up here. Does that light it up? Yep, it does. So where are my shears? Here we go. And I just shear this off. So then, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, th three, put a torch down, then shear one, two, and a, oh, oh well, I guess it's going to be stuck in quicksand for all eternity. And okay, one, two, three, four. And, uh, one, two, oops, almost fell. Would have been dangerous. Okay, and then again, one, two, three, four. Then a powered rail, and then one, two, three. The reason I have to get this done quickly, guys, is because, not this episode, not next episode, but the one after that is my ultimate minigame tournament. Where I'm going to play all of my minigames, or at least um, near all of them, with my helpers, some of them. Not all of them will be joining, but a lot of them will. And some of them that you've never seen before. These are just the who I might do, but uh, there is Pinecone21, who's been... You've heard her voice in some of my videos, but she's never had a played in Minecraft in any of my videos. Also, there's Esther Tacky, who's in the Crafty Club. It was her idea to make that stream of water, see over there? That used to be just a sand ravine. And also, there's this um, guy named Fishboy. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. It's really cool. Who may be joining. These are all, like, maybes. None of these are definites. Well, Pinecone 21 is a definite. But... Anyway, 
So, looks good. And now, let's quickly make a track that goes right over to the um, wing. And actually, let's make it go up like, uh, oops, uh, shears. Don't need this torch for now. Uh, so, here we go. Gonna share this away, because I don't need this either. And, uh, I did have some gray wool, light gray wool, sorry. And here, which I will use for the, um, outlines of the wings. And, I'm just gonna do the same design, but with one color, which makes it a lot easier, actually. So, maybe I'll make 15, 3, uh, Four and yeah, basically like that until the end. Five, six, um, and by the way, for this design, guys, some of the credit goes to Sandy and Express because earlier today I talked to him about what I should do, and yeah, we talked about this. Eight, nine, um. 10, 11, 12, 13, and look, you can see all of Tibwake from here, it's really cool, 14, and Fifatina. So then it's just gonna loop around here. Like so. And then come back. Down here. And then it's going to go to the, like, to the front of this, near the head. But it's not going to go to the head. It's going to loop around to the other wing. Then come back. Then go to all the legs. And then... Yeah, so I have to measure this. This is... There's four in between these two. So then I'm going to build up from the other side, because it's almost impossible to build down in Minecraft. Whee! That was like one of the most dangerous stunts I've done. Okay, so here, one, two, three, four. And... Then, yeah, like that. Why does it have to be that's like exactly on the torch where I need to shear away? I guess it doesn't matter. Oops. Maybe I'll, uh, you know what, it doesn't matter if it's gray here, it's sort of, I guess, fading into the wing, because I thought it would be weird if it was gray, green, and then gray again, but you know what, it doesn't matter. Just a game, just Minecraft. Well, Minecraft can hardly be called just, but, yep, despite that, still just Minecraft. <laughs> Seriously, have you ever seen it? anyone say the words just minecraft i mean minecraft is like so popular you never use the word just but ha huh, i did too bad so up here i guess i hope i'm gonna have enough i might just run out mm, yep i'm gonna run out i know i have another stack but then how am i gonna make the other wing gonna have to stop shearing them away and Letting them drop to the ground like that. And I'm gonna go to my bed. Oh, foo, I... Dang it, I messed up. You know what? I can unmess up and maybe even get some of my wool back. Uh, yep, this is how I'm unmessing up. Oh, no, foo! Oh, man! Is this my original spawn spot? You're kidding, right? No, I don't think they are. Okay, guys, I'll be back once I get back. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, guys, got back to my plateau, finally got all my stuff, and yes, here's my sky amulet. Didn't want to lose vortex. And I really shouldn't have broken my bed. I think that's why I went back to my original spawn spot, and it seems to be raining. And speaking of rain, there have been a lot of thunderstorms in my world lately, and oh man, I just died, I don't want to die again. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to kill you with a pickaxe. So, yeah, like, there was a thunderstorm once in episode 140. You can see the rain there. And another one in episode uh, 169, I think. And then another one, like, right after I ended 170, and this is 171. And this isn't a thunderstorm, but it just reminded me thunderstorms are becoming pretty common in my world. I don't really know why that is, but, yeah, they are. So, is that, like, some sort of weather pattern in Minecraft? Do those even exist in Minecraft? Eh, I really have no idea. So, yep, yeah, let's try not to make that same mistake I just made. Let's check to make sure. And I'm actually sort of looking forward to nighttime, because then I can sleep. Then if I die again, I'll just go right back to my bed, and I can continue working on what I was just working on. Because if I die now... It's going to be the same, it's going to be five minutes ago all over again. Surprisingly, I'm, I'm leaving a little secret, guys. I made a secret minecart track, going from my plat all the way from my spawn spot to the plateau, so it didn't take that long to get here. But it still took a pretty long time, because my spawn spot is ridiculously far away from my plateau. So, yep, these are going to be the wings, because, you know, insect wings are kind of clear sometimes. Like, if you've ever seen a ladybug's wings, you can, like, see through them. That is the exact definition of clear. <laughs> so, these, this turn isn't too sharp, and it's going up, not down. So, hopefully, you shouldn't, like, fly off. Because sometimes you can derail yourself on a minecart if you're going too fast. So, okay. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Here's the wing of the insect, the mantis. And maybe I'll only build one wing now, and I'll work on the rest later. Maybe I'll do like half and half, like the this is the right side today, and next time I'll do the left side. So, yep, you're going to come up there and down here this way. So... Uh, and then, what you do is you go over to this side, but then you also make, like, I'm going to make legs where you can, um, the legs where you can actually also go on these tracks. So I'm going to shear away this, and I figure maybe you can go on the top of the leg one way, and the bottom, the bottom of the leg the other way. So, the top will be maybe right here, at this level, and the bottom will be uh, just below this, and yeah, this is, wait, is this a thunderstorm? Oh no, the sun is just setting. You know what, I should put my bed down, and I should sleep. Mmm... Good, so now if I die, I'll at least die safely. And yep, it's clearing up now, because I slept. So yep, this is going to be the top, so it's going to be 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18, 19, 20. Or maybe I'll only do 20, because that was going to be longer. I need to be, like, to scale. And then, I'm going to do it diagonally. 1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe this will count as 1, 2, 3, 4. It's kind of scary. 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, oh, this is easy, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then it's going to drop down, and you know since you can't build down, maybe I'll just have it up instead, so maybe up like this. 
And what I'm planning to do for the front legs is have like pinchers, well pistons, but they're gonna look like pinchers, just like a mantis kind of has those thingies. What are they called? So it's gonna—they're gonna like pinch you at the last second. You're gonna get away at the last second before they pinch you. So it's, I thought it'd be kind of fun considering the mantis theme of this thing. Cause I was gonna have a dragon, but that would be like too hard, and mantises are like really thin, and. I want that because I don't have that much wool. It took forever just to get this much. Okay. And what's... Oops. I was about to say it's good. I can't fail. But then it just did. Proved me wrong. What's good about this is that I won't actually build on top of this because I'm literally standing on it. And even though I make the occasional mistake like that. I shouldn't really stand on things when I'm shearing under them. That's how I died last time. Because I stood on the block that I was shearing away. That's in the... I believe that's in the Minecraft Dumb Ways to Die. Use your lava bucket as a cup. Break the only um, block that's holding you up. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the actual one. Because Kaboominator showed me something that, like, just from his knowledge. So maybe he made his own or something. But anyway, that's how I heard it. And you really shouldn't like, break the only block that's holding you up like I did. And you also shouldn't use your lava bucket as a cup. That's really not what it's meant for. <laughs> and I'm just going to break this away so I can, like, get through. Break. And jump. Uh, and then maybe I'll, like, fall down into here again. Or, maybe, you're going to, like, completely go over. This is going to be a little too hard to work out. But, unfortunately, I've just run out of time, so it's the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!